Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the videos. I'm super excited for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Um, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool today and I've been waiting for it forever. I know he's been waiting for it forever and I'm just like so excited. So if you don't know what we're doing, go watch the videos. It's gonna be linked up here somewhere and you'll get an idea of what today's video will be about. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing tons of fun stuff with my car, his car, and maybe some cool fun project cars along the way. Um, but yeah, we're going to put these guys on, go test drive the car, and yeah, I'm so excited, so stick around. Gas station snacks acquired. We got the goodies, boys. Let's go pick up these parts. Brake rotors, front and rear, stainless steel brake lines, and EBC brake pads. Now let's go home and start test fitting stuff up. So like I said, today we have a really awesome install. I've been waiting so long to get these things put on. I bought these brakes so long ago. Today we're gonna be installing the Brembo STI calipers onto my 2006 WRX. Let me give you guys just a really quick rundown of what we got going on. For the rears we have the DBA conversion rotors. And if you guys don't know, uh, the parking brake shoe for the 06 or for the WRXs is a different diameter than they are for the STI. So you either need thicker parking brake shoes or the DBA conversion rotors. So I just went with the conversion rotors for price and for ease of changing things out, I guess you would say. I also have stainless steel braided brake lines for the front and the rear. I figured while I'm in here doing all this stuff, I might as well upgrade my brake lines as well for a little bit better pedal feel. If you guys don't know, I have the master cylinder brace from Radium Performance already installed in the car. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. And then last but not least, I'll show you guys the fronts when we get there, but I have these beautiful powder coated Brembo brake calipers. Let me know what you guys think of the color down below. And I guess let's go ahead and get into the install. I'm gonna get a jack under this thing, jack up the rear wheels, take the rear wheels and tires off, and we'll start fitting everything up. setup they are actually pretty good but you know everybody likes an upgrade and I wanted to kind of convert this whole car to an STI for a while now anyway so we're gonna take these off before I disconnect the brake lines or anything like that I just want to fit everything up and make sure that all the information that I was given is correct and that these rotors these DBA conversion rotors are going to fit on my hubs and that the new calipers will bolt up directly to the brackets and everything. So let's go ahead, take this caliper off, take this rotor off, we'll fit the new stuff on, just make sure everything fits and then we'll start the install from there.
So I guess it's a good thing I test fitted. You guys probably saw me put the caliper on without the rotor on just to make sure that the bolt holes lined up and they lined up really well and everything. The caliper sat where it should. But when I got the rotor on, I put a lug nut on and zipped it down just to kind of put it in its place where it's gonna sit with everything bolted down. And it's a good thing I did because up here, we have a gap between the dust shield and the rotor. But once we get like over here, they are contacting. So that would cause a really bad noise and probably damage the rotor um, from them rubbing against each other. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and take an angle grinder and just cut off this whole outer edge of the dust shield. And hopefully that'll solve my problem. So here we are about a week later guys. I don't remember exactly where I left off in the last clip. I think I just cut the, the lip off of the dust shield. So everything's fitted up. The dust shield doesn't rub anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the caliper onto the bracket and everything. And then I'm probably gonna have to run to the store to get some line wrenches because when I was trying to take off the when I was trying to take off the brake line, it was starting to round out a little bit and it wasn't breaking loose. So I'm going to have to get a really good pair of vice grips or some line wrenches. Probably pick up both just to be safe, but let's go ahead and throw the caliper onto the bracket, see where it sits and everything, and then we'll get that brake line broken free and install the new ones. Guys, don't make the mistake I was about to make. And the bleeder screws go on the top. So this caliper needs to go on the other side. Good thing I caught that before I tightened everything down. Got it on. Got the bolts tightened down and everything. There's something a little bit concerning. Hopefully you guys can see it, but let's see down in here. If you guys can see that the screws that come through the bracket are dangerously close to the rotor. Don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but the screws that the bolts that go through are really close to the rotor and I'm really hoping that when I compress the brake pads and sit the rotor in its correct place that those bolts don't contact. Right now they're not but they're very close so it's worrying me a little bit but once I get the brake line on and I'm able to compress the brakes and everything and get a better idea where everything sits then I will let you guys know if those contact. TV blaster on the brake lines never hurt anything. Alright guys, like I said, we're gonna have to run to the store really quick. We got the whole family. We got the, the shop dog. You can see him back there just chilling. Poor guy got hot and uh, threw up a little bit because he ate stuff off the table. But anyways, we're headed to the hardware store real quick. I'm gonna pick up a couple of pairs of vice grips and some line wrenches. And I will show you guys what I got and everything when we get it. But we're gonna grab that stuff run back, get those brake lines off in the rear so I can move on to the front. Hopefully the front brake lines aren't seized either, but you know, we'll see. So let's go grab some tools, we'll come right back.
By the way, shout out to Ghost Energy for providing today's fuel. If you guys haven't tried this new flavor, it is fire. Love Ghost. Hashtag sponsored? Question mark? All right, everybody, tools acquired. Got two different vice grips to hold both sides of the brake line if these flare wrenches don't work. So let's try and get these brakes off. There we go, you guys saw that break loose. I'm gonna get the regular 10 mil so I can take it off. Before I remove this all the way, I've got my StopTech stainless steel brake lines here. Stop tech. This is the part number for the rear. I'll put all this stuff down in the description. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach one of my brake lines to the caliper. So that way I can do the old Indiana Jones and just take this one off and really quickly swap it with this brake line end. So that way I don't lose a ton of fluid when I'm replacing these. That way bleeding the brakes is a lot easier and quicker. Let's go ahead and uh, get this on, and then I will take the other line off. The cool thing about being a car girlfriend is I could just sit here looking pretty but he makes the car look pretty. I don't gotta do nothing. Alright guys, rears are done. Not sure why I put the wheels back on because I'm gonna need to bleed these fuckers in a little bit anyways but oh well they can come back off pretty easy once again the car race car is on jack stands but let's go ahead and move to the fronts hopefully this side uh, the fronts go a little bit easier than the rears so wish me luck There you go guys, I got the EBC STI rotors for the 2004 for the front so that the bolt pattern would be the same and then they will fit the STI calipers. So let's go ahead and fit these up. I could have sworn I ordered slotted, but it looks like I didn't. So we're gonna have to save up some money and order some slotted rotors for the front because as you guys saw, the DBA rotors in the back are slotted. Hopefully it won't make a difference, but Let's go ahead and get these put on. Everything came off okay. So glad I'm not reusing this hardware because it was a pain in the ass to break those loose. But I uh, went ahead and took a rock that I had used as a wheel chalk and smacked this dust shield. Um, hopefully it is far enough out of the way so that the rotors don't contact. But if they are not, then I will cut them just like I did the rears. So let's put these rotors on, see what it looks like. Everything's on. We're gonna do the same things with, that we did with the rears. Gonna disconnect this, install my front stop tech stainless steel brake lines. There's the part number for the front. Then we're gonna do the Indiana Jones again. All right guys, it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like really quick. I'm just gonna button everything back up. I finished the passenger side, so I'm just gonna knock the driver's side out really quick. 
think I'm gonna call it a night after that. I didn't still need to bleed the brakes, but that'll have to be probably tomorrow or the next day. But everything's finished up on this side. Let's go ahead and knock the other side out. I'll show you what everything looks like when it's buttoned back up. And if you guys are interested in seeing like the brake bleeding process, definitely let me know. If you guys wanna see like a video of like stopping distances or comparison or whatever like that, definitely let me know. I'll do a review of these and how everything feels once I get it bled and set back up and the car back on the road. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe and press the little bell notification so that you guys can see when I post that video. If you guys wanna see more Subaru content and Subaru STI upgrades and stuff like that, definitely let me know down in the comments and subscribe. And um, let's go ahead and put everything back together and we'll end it there. From this to this. There they are boys, all buttoned up and uh, ready to bleed and then put back on the road. So excited to start driving around with these guys. Stay tuned for more content and we'll see you in the next video. Peace!